Hey, it's Emily with The Ultimate Creative. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create an audiogram to promote your podcast episodes using an app called Headliner. And if you like this video and you want more content like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get notifications every time I put out a new video. Here we are in Headliner. So this app, it has a whole bunch of really great features, even at the free level. I do have the pro version, which gives me a few extra fun tools, but even at the free level, again, you can do an audiogram wizard, which gives you sort of a template like this. You could do full episodes. You can get transcripts as well. Uh, you can also do auto videos. This is really handy for those of you who put out your podcasts on YouTube and need to have a video for it. Um, Headliner will automatically create these videos for you every time there's a new episode in your RSS feed. So it just sends you an email and says, you're done. Here's your video. You download it from here and you upload it to YouTube. The end. For today's demo, I'm going to take you right into the editor. I'm going to choose a square. Um, again, you can do um, a landscape for YouTube or for your website or portrait for studios or TikTok. Um, so I'm going to do a square because I want to put this into my Instagram feed. Confirm. And I'm going to title this YGL Emily Audiogram. Okay, and then I know what that is. So the first thing it tells you to do is add assets using the signs below, or the plus sign below. So down here on the cursor, uh, I've got a little blue plus sign. I'm gonna click that, and I want to bring in my one minute clip. So I've edited down one minute from an episode that I'm gonna be sharing for the You Gotta Laugh podcast. Um, so I'm gonna just click and drag that in here. Oh, I'm going to click and drag that in here and I want to turn on the transcription option because I want to get the um, the text from the audio. So this is doing it automatically for you. Um, you can see the whole the duration of the clip is 59 seconds. Checks out. Looks good. OK, add to video. This might take just a couple of seconds and through the magic of editing, it's done. Sweet. Here we go. I've got a black screen, so why don't I add in a nice background color here? I'm gonna grab my brand colors, FC8 to A7, so that's the pink for the You Gotta Laugh podcast. The next thing I wanna do is add in the episode title. You could do a title, or for the purposes of this audiogram, I'm using this to promote a show that has not yet come out, so I'm gonna call this Teaser. Oh, it's very exciting, Teaser. And I'm going to set it to center. This can all be set up with your preferred fonts. I'm going to just use Ubuntu because I like that one. I like it bold. And um, I'm going to remove the shadow. So again, this is like a really fun little design exercise. And once you come up with the baseline of what you want everything to look like, you can duplicate these projects or you can just edit the same ones over and over again with new assets to make it a little easier. So I'm going to click Add to Video. And this is the title that I want to appear throughout the entire thing. So I'm clicking and dragging all the way to the end of the audio clip here. Um, so now I've got my transcript ready to go. Oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. So now I've got my transcript ready to go here. I'm going to go up to this tab here at the top left and click transcript. And if I click hide, it will go away. If I click show, it will come back again. Um, and over here on the left column, you can see all of the different times. So you're gonna have to go through for sure and make sure that these are correct. Um, this is especially important as well, and I'll show you in a few minutes, when uh, you have more than one person talking. So I'm going to also be adding in um, a title for uh, my name and for Alicia's name. Um, but you can see like even here, it says singer on one line and that uh, doesn't, need to be on one line all by itself. It's going to look a little odd. Uh, but these are set up timed as close to as possible the audio that waveform that we have down here. So in order to edit the look of this, first of all, I'm going to click on A. And I want this box to come up to the middle. Uh, yeah, about there looks good. And I want to have a couple more lines of text on here. I want to click lop caption times as well so that um, it doesn't change the timing of my captions. It's still gonna happen at the correct part of the um, audio clip here. It's important to have a lot of text on here as well to capture people's attention because most people are watching things on Instagram without audio and podcasts obviously are an audio medium. So we need to capture people's attention without sound. And this is one really great way to do that. 
Okay, let's customize the style. So I want it to be, again, Ubuntu. I want it to be um, bold. I want to get rid of this text highlight color because I hate it. And I want everything else looks great to me. So I'm going to leave that as is. Now, this is my favorite, the animation. So karaoke style, I want to turn that on. And uh, it would go from this white to, uh, to red, and, and that's an awful, awful color. Never use FF000. Try something like 3F, 3F, 3F. Oh, all right, that's our dark color of our brand. And click Save. Automatically, it's gonna update that for you. Um, I could see my name, or sorry, the teaser text uh, didn't appear at the beginning, which means in the transitions, uh, it's fading in and, and I just want it to appear immediately. I want it to be across the whole video. So I'm going to set these both to no transition and click save. Great. Now it says teaser up here. I also know that I want to have uh, my name as the speaker. So Emily and I'm going to make this small. Oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. I'm going to make it smaller so that we know that this is not related to anything other than just being is talking and make sure my transitions are set to no transition and no transition add to video okay it's a little too far away so let's bring it down save okay um, the next element that I want to add graphically on here is the waveform of course so if you click on the audio you'll get the option to select a wave style I'm gonna select wave and I'm gonna turn this into another one of my brand colors. I'm gonna choose the yellow, FFCC, oh, oh. Oh, it looks beautiful. And drag it down to the bottom because that's where I want it to show up. Click save. Let's check it out. Let's see what it looks like so far. By the way, all of this text is a little wrong. That's, <laughs> this is a made up word. A wishel washel is when you don't do your dishes for four weeks and you wish a washel would show up and do them for you. Tell me. Cool, great. Um, so now we need to go in and correct some of the text and we need to make adjustments when Alicia starts speaking. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change the first line up here. And again, wishel washel is a word we made up. It's an improv podcast. <laughs> uh, wishel Oh, maybe it's a wishel washel. You know what? It's uh, it's made up. So we'll we'll make it one word. A wishel washel is when you don't do your dishes for four weeks and you wish a washel would show up and do it for you or do them for you. Okay, and now we see um, Alicia's words. Tell me what a washel, W A S H E L, looks like. And then you can see I start talking again in here. So I'm gonna just do. Command X or Control X on a PC um, to get rid of that text and hang on to it for a second because I want to paste it in later. Uh, and I'm going to add a question mark here. Let's play this back and see if it looks like it lines up. I'm going to do closer towards Alicia's line. Four weeks and you wish a washel would show up and do them for you. Tell me what a washel looks like. A washel. Okay, so you can see the timing now. It's a lot longer than the line actually is because I removed that text. Is like a very long so in order to fix that, we find the endpoint of Alicia's line. Tell me what a washel looks like. And you can see in the waveform that there's a little bit of an empty space there. Um, so this time mark is 1019. I want to make sure this clip ends at 1019. Hit enter. Next, I'll click this plus sign and paste that text in. So command V to paste. Uh, I don't actually know what this says yet. So let's see what I say. A washel is like... A washel. A washel. Of course, it's this made up word. Washel is a very long symbol, blah, blah, blah. Wonderful, wonderful. Do them for you. Tell me what a washel looks like. A washel is like a very long, extendable, it's like a telescopic... Okay, so now this is lining up a little bit better. Um, obviously, there's some grammar things that need to be adjusted as well. Um, and, you know, these extra lines here. But that is for me to do. Um, I want to add a title card here so that we know Alicia is speaking. So if I click on that and click Duplicate, it will add another one immediately after. And then if, again, if I click on it, I change this text to Alicia 
and save. And then I'll play through to find where the next entry point is. And you wish a Washel would show up and do them for you. Oh, so she starts here. So I'm just clicking and dragging this clip over and clicking and dragging to extend the original title. So now I've got I've got me here and I've got Alicia starting here. And let's see where she finishes. Tell me what a washel looks like. Okay, so she finishes right there. Make that shorter, click on it and click duplicate. Again, I'm just gonna add in my name. So every time the speaker changes, I will change this title. You probably don't have to do it too many times throughout. Usually if you're gonna do a clip like this, you wanna make sure it's like some really good meaty stuff. So like someone's talking for ex an extended period of time that really highlights the topic that you're covering. In this case, Wishle Washles. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. Wishle Washle is when you don't do your dishes for four weeks and you wish a washel would show up and do them for you. Tell me what a washel looks like. A washel is... All right, there are some areas here that are kind of bugging me and it's just too far away from... Tell me what a washel looks like. There. A washel is like... This just bothered me that it was so far away. But there we go. So we've got the beginnings of our lovely audiogram here. You can also add in, there's on this media track, you can add in, let's say you want to add in a logo. So I'm going to upload and I'm going to drag in my logo here. And you can drag the corners to adjust the size. So maybe I'll put it right up in the middle here and add to video. Again, with that darn transition. No transition. Okay. Oh, it's covering my teaser title. No problem. So you can see in here, everything is just layers. For four weeks and you wish a washel would show up and do them for you. Tell me what a washel. Great. Again, I'm going to drag this all the way across so that it extends through the entire video. And I'm going to go through and do the entire thing, adjusting all of these times here as well. Um, but that's very boring for you to watch. So um, I'm going to show you now how to export this video. So click export, choose the highest possible resolution, 1080 by 1080, and export my video. As soon as it's done, this little pop-up will appear here and you can click and download it here. And you've got all these different options. So you can download directly to your computer. You can copy and share the link with your co-host or your client. You can save it to an account, a Dropbox or a Gmail, or just upload directly to any of these platforms here, which is super duper handy. Uh, and that's it. There you have it. That's how to create an audiogram for your podcast episodes. Thanks for watching. If you liked that, if you want more content just like this, I put out how-to videos for podcasting every Thursday. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.